Hello everyone. In this video, we will be creating a projectile launcher and drawing the projectile trajectory. So let's dive right in. Set up a launcher with a cylinder as the barrel and an empty object as the launch point. Rotate the launcher 45 degrees and place it at the end of the screen. Set up the ground. Next, we will create a projectile. For that, create a sphere and name it projectile. Add a rigid body component and turn it into a prefab. Now, select the launcher and add a new script named projectile launcher. Open the script. We need a reference to the projectile and the launch point. We also need a field for the projectile speed. Inside the update method, on the left mouse button click, we will instantiate the projectile and set its position and rotation to match the launch point. Next, we will assign the velocity to this instantiated projectile. The velocity can be calculated by multiplying the launch speed with the launch point's up direction. Save the script and go back to Unity. Assign the launch point and projectile prefab. Now hit play and use the left mouse button to launch the projectiles. Next, we will draw the trajectory. For this, we will use the line renderer to draw the trajectory line. To draw a complete line, the line renderer needs points that are situated at regular intervals. We will use the second equation of motion also known as the position time relation to calculate those points as shown in the diagram if we have the time value we can calculate the x and y coordinates of any point create a variable to hold the number of points and another variable to hold the value of the time interval between points now let's create a method to draw the trajectory first Create a local variable to hold the start velocity. Set the line renderer's position count. Next, create a variable to hold the time value and set the starting value to zero. Then, create a for loop to iterate through each line point and calculate its x and y coordinates. Use the second equation of motion to calculate the values of x and y. Now, we have a vector 3 point, so we can set the line renderer's position at the current index. Here, we need to add the launch point's position to the calculated point to get the current world position of the point relative to the launch point. Now that the current position is set, we need to increment the time using the time interval in points field for the next position in the next iteration. In the update method, First check if the line renderer is not null to avoid possible null reference exceptions. Then draw the trajectory only when the right mouse button is held down. Save the script and go back to Unity. Now add the line renderer component to the launcher. Set the position count to 0 and width to 0 0.1. Next assign a material that will control the appearance of the line. Here, we have assigned the default line material, but feel free to use any customized material to achieve a better looking line. Finally, set the color of the line. Assign the line renderer to the designated field and hit play. Use the left mouse button to launch the projectile and hold down the right mouse button to draw the trajectory. Adjust the line points value to change the line length and the time interval in points value to change the curve smoothness. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.